kennst du den Faker? Sechs echte Zauberer und ein Fake-Zauberer, der eigentlich gar keine Ahnung davon hat. Alle sieben performen heute in diesem Video und unsere Aufgabe ist es herauszufinden, wer ist der Faker? Diese Frage hat der YouTube-Channel Jubilee gestellt und wir gucken, ob wir sie beantwortet kriegen. Und damit herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Folge. Matti reagiert. We brought together seven magicians. I am a magician. 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 I'm a magician. Hollywood's favorite magician. I am a magician. Einer davon hat gerade gelogen. Ich weiß es selber genauso wenig wie ihr. Ich versuche es jetzt auch herauszufinden und ihr könnt ja mal in den Kommentaren gerne mitraten. One is a liar. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll win a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the cash prize. Oh, coole Idee. This is the odd man out. Don't have much of a game plan at all. You're a real performing magician. There's things that, there's experiences that you just would have to have for yourself. So there's no way you could fake it. I think the person who is not a magician is probably going to say the most obvious answers. Like my favorite magician is Harry Houdini. I'm a Spanish, but I am based in London. I don't know if they're going to think I'm the mom just because of the fact that I'm a girl. I'm just excited to see these other magicians and talk about magic. This is what I do every single day. So it should be a lot of fun. Da bin ich aber gespannt jetzt. This is our trick round. Everyone will get three minutes to perform a trick for the group. Let's begin with number one. First off, I'm Nico Magic. What's up? Let's try something here. Um, I got a bunch of a uh, bunch of different random cards. Now these are all Halloween themed. We got things like candy, ghost, skull, mummy, pumpkin, clown, goblin, gravestone, just to name some. Um, now you can have any one of these. I want it to be a completely fair choice. So whichever one that you want, uh, I'm gonna go through them. You can name one, whichever one. He seems legit already, just by the performance. You want to go with Skull? Let's see, where was that? I'm gonna give you one chance. Do you want to change your mind or do you want to keep it Skull? He like knows how to do like video magic. I'm gonna keep it Skull. Oh. You want to keep it? Okay, interesting. I'm gonna leave it right here. Uh, hopefully we can see that the entire time. Now look, I'm gonna try something. Um, you can definitiv ein Magier. Also Nico ist für mich zu 100% safe. Ich weiß nicht, was ihr jetzt sagt, aber ich finde Nico ist 1000% safe Zauberer. Could have had anyone that was completely fair. I'm going to show you that the backs of these ones, all these cards are completely Ja, klassisches Handling. Blank on the back of them. But uh but last night I had a vision. Okay. Die sind nicht completely blank on the back. Die sind rot on the back mit dem roten Bicycle Back Design. Hat er sich da verquatscht? Okay, I had a vision. In fact, I was so confident that you're going to Keep it skull that I actually took a marker and I wrote a big black X on the back of one card. That's so good. On there. I love it. And that is your selection skull right there. I love <laughs> That's it. That's my trick. I almost also, from the performance here, from handling here, eindeutig Magier brauchen wir gar nicht diskutieren drüber. But I almost thought Goblin. Huh? I know, you could have changed your mind, but that would have been, been awkward. <laughs> Number two. How you doing? Okay, so I was thinking to do because a lot of people are doing cut tricks, but Ooh, I mean okay. it's pretty cool, right? Just a little bit with the iPhone. <laughs> okay, no, let's let's do um, a little with a coin. Let me see. Let me show you something cool. All right. So I like how she's got like magic props. I guess magicians knows the rising card, but this is I call it the rising coin because watch when I. Shake my hand, you'll see how. Oh, that's Genius. that's really good. Cool, so was habe ich noch nie gesehen. Good. And watch the next one. Das ist ja nice. Voll die schöne Idee. Sie ist definitiv Magierin. Guckt euch das Bücherregal hinten an. Guckt euch das Handling mit der Münze an. Das ist schon sehr authentisch. Oh. And look, even if I shake a little bit more, slowly, just jumps all the way to the top. Bam. Ich meine, also von der Methode her sah es jetzt so aus, als wäre die Methode genau das, was man glaubt, was die Methode ist. Aber wenn ich es jetzt einfach mal versuchen würde, nachzumachen, sie hat hier die Münze. <lacht> nee, okay, das ist nicht so einfach. Dip, dip. <lacht> nee, 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 das geht nicht so einfach. Sie ist Zauberin. Bravo, bravo, that was dope. That get das war mega nice. Some, uh, that gets some confetti. Let's go number three. Let's go to Ollie. Hi, so I'm gonna show you this magic trick. Can you see that all the cards are different? Oh, look at that spread. He's legit. So, yeah, absolutely. Ich wollte gerade dasselbe sagen. <lacht> Sorry. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to actually try to find the four aces. The first one, if I give it a cut, and I give it two more cuts, I think the first one happens to be 36 from the top, so I can try to get it right there. He's got card skills, too. Um, the second one, 
I think probably is only five from the top. So what I'll try and do is I'll try and do something a little different. If I just try and shake the deck. Oh well. And Curry will happen to pop out. This is the next ace. If I give the deck. You can't vote a kid out. This is so good. Another cut. I should be able to find the next ace. And can you see that the deck is shuffled here, right? I'll give yeah. that one shuffle. And I'll take the deck and one in 52 chance. Witzig, das habe ich euch sogar mal erklärt. Exakt das. Also ich habe, glaube ich, drei von vier Phasen, die er hier gemacht hat, schon erklärt auf meinem Kanal. Der Olli ist definitiv ein Zauberer. Oh, love it. Awesome. Thank you, number three. I'm glad I don't have to follow up that kid. The future of magic is in good hands. Absolut. Aber das denke ich mir jedes Mal immer wieder, wenn ich auch auf eure Tricks reagiere hier auf meinem Kanal. Ich sehe immer wieder so viele talentierte, richtig junge Leute und denke mir jedes Mal, ja, der Nachwuchs, der wird uns schon carryen. Switch it up for the rest of the order. Let's do number six. Um, okay, so we've got a deck of cards. Um, and I just want you to, to free select. So say stop whenever, right? Stop. Das war jetzt aber nicht sehr... Magia esque. So, um, I'm looking away, right? Erstens, er performt sehr nervös, also er spricht nicht sehr frei in seiner Vorführung, sondern man merkt, er hat da gar nicht wirklich Erfahrung drin. Das wirkt so wie so eine Anfänger-Performance, wie wir alle am Anfang gezaubert haben. Wir wussten die Methode, aber wir wussten natürlich noch nicht so ganz, wie präsentieren wir das Ganze jetzt richtig. So wirkt das so ein bisschen auf mich, aber vielleicht urteile ich auch ein bisschen zu schnell. Aber auch die Art und Weise, alleine schon, wie er die Karten gehalten hat zum Riffle. Ein Zauberer, der zehn Jahre die Karten in der Hand hält, der riffelt die Karten so entlang, aber nicht so. Wisst ihr, was ich meine? So, so richtig. So, der hat sie diese. Ach, das ist so dieses zu viel Druck, zu viel Kraft, mehr Kraft als notwendig. So, diese zwei Argumente sind jetzt für mich Grund genug zu sagen. Sass! Ja, das meine ich nämlich. Die Art und Weise, wie er da durchrauscht. Er ist am Ende angekommen und macht einfach direkt weiter und er wackelt so rum und hält die gar nicht safe vor der Kamera. Das ist schon sehr. Sass! So, um, I'm looking away, right? We're gonna pick two cards. Here's this, and then this card as well, okay? You see this? Yeah. Okay, so um, you've got those two cards in your, hand, in your head. I'm gonna try to remember, uh, figure out what they are, so. Ja, und dann noch die Versprecher und so weiter. Joseph, 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 das sieht nicht gut aus. Um, a bold move. <laughs> okay. All right. Was one of them The ace of spades. It was. Okay, watch. So we're gonna find the other card. I know you're probably not that that uh, amazed because this is Zoom and everything, and nothing's amazing over Zoom. But uh, we're gonna try to do this. So if you can see, I'm drawing it to be like a 3D kind of thing, right? And so it looks like a 3D card box, right? And you'll see it's kind of cool because if I take this card box, right, and I just kind of shake it like this, it looks as though aber der Trick ist sehr nice. Ich mag den sehr gerne. And uh, that is the four of diamonds. Yes. Okay, cool. <lacht> yeah. Sehr, sehr, sehr starker Effekt. Ja, die Präsentation finde ich. Die verrät es irgendwie. Aber vielleicht bin ich auch folgendes. Und vielleicht ist er Zauberer und das ist einfach sein Style. So absolut verunsichert sein und die ganze Zeit sich versprechen. Wer weiß. All right. Just some noise talking. Uh, I want to try something, all right? I've got this um, uh, knife right over here. I know, danger. And I've got <laughs> a, uh, I've got a deck of cards. So check it out. The knife goes all the way through the deck of cards, just like so. But what's interesting is, is he's having a real. Meine Theorie am Ende ist ein Holzblock in der Schachtel. Really nice deck. If I let go, it's kind of still there. But if I show you, it actually is all the way through. The deck of cards. Pretty interesting. But there are no cards inside at all. Oh, yeah, it's got his so, name on it. See, if I take this out and I show you what's inside, 
It is a solid block. I know that this prediction. I know that this uh, is killer. Half inch piece. <lacht> Gut, es ist jetzt nicht Hollywood. Ich habe ja mal eine Review gemacht zu Hollywood von Hanson Chien, wo ein Holzblock dieser Stelle jetzt auftauchen würde. Das ist, glaube ich, wenn ich mich nicht irre, warte, lass mal kurz mein Magier-Gedächtnispalast, lass mich da mal reinkicken. Ich glaube, das ist von Joao Miranda. Ich bin mir aber nicht ganz sicher. Aber anyways, äh, sehr, sehr, sehr schöne Routine. Und er ist definitiv Magier, denn die Art und Weise, wie er das präsentiert hat, dass er ein bekanntes Bild genommen hat, nämlich das gute alte, wenn man im Theater sich erstechen lässt, das Schwert hier unter die Achse klemmt, bla. Er hat ein Bild genommen, das jeder kennt und hat es übertragen auf ein Kartenspiel. Das ist sowas von typisch wir Zauberer. Steel. Kind of gutsy for him to do a trick like this. Where'd he go? He's a magician. That guy. Definitiv, ja. Yeah. Guys, he, trust me. Number seven, are you ready? My name is Mervan. I'm gonna show you something really cool. By oh, I see Rubik's Cubes and a paper tüte. Das klingt ja eigentlich schon nah. I mean, have you ever had your mind read before? I don't think so. All right, great. This is kind of like that, but a little bit different. I used to do Rubik's Cubes growing up as a kid. And once I became a magician, it actually became a lot easier to solve uh, the Rubik's Cube. But I'm gonna try something with you right through Zoom. Are you ready? He's confident. Yeah. I have another cube here. They say there are six sides to the cube. I'm going to ask you to name a side front, back, left, right, top, bottom. And as you name a side, I will turn that side. Front, back, left, right, top, bottom. It is up to you. Go. Go for it. Uh, right. You'll go right. Wonderful. Uh, bottom? Bottom. Let's go. Keep going. Keep going. A couple more. Top. Uh, top. Here we go. Top. Keep them coming. Left. Left. Uh, front. Front. Three more. Three more. Back. That would be back. Two more. Two more. Uh, left. That would be left. And one more. One more. Bottom. And bottom. Uh, now, you have no idea what you just did here, but in a way, you actually solved this Rubik's Cube. Let me show you. You'll notice there's a bag right here. Inside this bag, there is actually another cube, but I want you to look closely. I want you to see this. Can you see that? That's actually a perfect match right there. Not just on one side, but check it out. That is two sides, a perfect match. Not just two sides. That would be three sides, a perfect match. That would be four sides, every single side, five sides. Look, six sides of the cube. Sehr mächtiger Effekt. Ultra stark, wirklich ultra stark. Meine Güte, nice. A perfect. That is, that is fantastic. Rubik's Cubes are really popular right now. Number seven is also a magician. All right. And yeah, definitiv Magier. Definitiv. Last but not least, number four. My name's Jeff. Oh, uh, but this Morning. dude has the most... Uh, my name is Jeff Black. Jeff Black sounds like a magician name. And <laughs> today I brought a deck of cards, but this one's a little bit strange. It's actually a blank deck of cards. Have you ever seen a blank deck of cards, Bonnie? Okay, first time for everything. We're gonna try to do magic with this. But first, I want you to think of any card. Don't even say it, just think of it in your mind. Do you have one? Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna reach through this, uh, the camera, right? Into your mind. And I'm gonna pull... Aber mir gefällt das nicht, dass er die Karten außerhalb des Kamerasichtfeldes jetzt hat. Pull out the one card that you're thinking of. And I think this is a great choice. I think, uh, in fact, I'm gonna commit. This is the card right here. I would like this to stay in frame. <laughs> okay, um, so for the first time, I'm committed. Would you go ahead and just say it out loud? What was your card? It was a two part. <gasps> Yo, no way, Bonnie. That's exactly the card I hoped you would say. Now, <laughs> I don't want to brag, but this really is the two of hearts. And that's the challenge of a blank deck, obviously. If it was printed, that would have been it. But thank you for humoring me. In fact, let's use your magic to overcome that challenge. So if you had a magic word, what would it be? If it could be anything, what would it be? Sparkle. Sparkle. Okay, we're going to do this um, with one hand, okay? Can you still see the blank card if I hold it like that? One, two, three. Sparkle. Ah, schade, dass sie jetzt zu ihr rübergeschnitten haben, aber ich glaube, das war wegen Zoom automatisch. Hat jetzt hier mit dem Clipshift die vorderste Karte gefärbt. And it prints one random card. Now, of course, I know that isn't your card, but you did more than that, Bonnie. You printed two cards. 
Oh, you didn't stop there though. You printed every single card in the deck. Ooh. Er kann under pressure, er ist Zauberer. <laughs> I know, it's, it's already very impressive, right? But the best part isn't that. Not that you printed every card in my hand, but honestly, the best part is you printed the one I wasn't even touching. The one that you merely thought of. The two of. Dude, yeah. Auch sehr schöne Routine. Definitiv. Yes, it's so good. I love it. <laughs> I think I might get kicked out because everybody else did really good. And especially doing it virtual, let me say, that was fantastic. Also ich finde, Joseph hat sich am wenigsten verhalten wie ein Magier. Joseph hat am wenigsten von unseren typischen Mannerismen gezeigt. Auch wenn sein Effekt stark war, seine Präsentation war am schwächsten. Das sage ich jetzt aber frecherweise genauso im Zuge des Formats. Meine Vermutung ist, Joseph ist kein Magier. I mean, I'm just very psyched that I did my trick right because it was pretty difficult. The youngest magician, some of the best handling and presentation I've seen from someone his age. I saw some pieces of card flicks and sleight of hand, things that take a lot of practice. The one who did the arm trick seemed a bit more nervous than a lot of the other people, which is sign number one to me, which you might not be a magician. I forget his name. I'm sorry. I'm terrible with names, but the arm guy. Number one was a great performer. I didn't sense any nerves, but his trick, in my opinion, was the easiest to perform. Even if his trick, he was very creative. I think I'm gonna go to number six. I am going to vote for the short guy. The guy who pushed the sword, the knife, through the curtain. I can't remember, so I am like, I have bad memory. I'm pretty suspicious of him because he could just pull that off after about a minute of das stimmt. Zacks Routine war auf jeden Fall vom Handling her am einfachsten, würde ich fast schon behaupten. Aber die Art und Weise, wie er sie präsentiert hat und der Gag mit dem Konfetti und so weiter, das sind so typische Magier-Dinge. Zack ist auf jeden Fall Magier. I am voting for number six. It seemed like they had a lot of nerves around performing that trick as if it was brand new. I'm going to vote for Knife Guy. It's the only trick that's like doesn't use cards and isn't immediately obvious what his skill level is. I don't know. They're, I think they're all magicians. But I have to vote for someone. The guy that did the arm thing. The votes are in. The person eliminated this round is... Number six. Thank you, number six. That sucked. <laughs> Doing it over Zoom was pretty tough. If it was in person, I think I would have stood a pretty good chance. I should have just had like a deck of cards like stacked up behind me. Like who does that? You know what I mean? Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. You know, I should have put this up there. Hmm. Warte mal. Lag ich falsch? Well, look at this. Wow. What's up, guys? Is this so Wait a minute. So fun. Hey, nice performance. What's going on? Hey, hey. Great that was sick. Ollie. You're amazing. Yeah. You're so good, Thank buddy. You. That was so good, man. I've <laughs> never seen that. Guys, where are you uh, based? I'm from Dallas, Texas, so I say y'all a lot. So go Cowboys. Philadelphia, like PA, home and raised on the playgrounds where I spend most of my days. Ah. Uh, LA. Oh, right near um the, what's that place in LA where they do magic? Magic Castle. Went to the Magic Castle once. Yeah, you went to the Magic, it. who did you see, who was your favorite magician there? David Regal like was on. He was like one of. Did he do this trick right here? Or no. Yeah, he invented like. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We're still, on, we're still we're still on YouTube, bro. Don't give too much. Yeah, this is YouTube. Uh, no, 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 uh, no methods or. Aber interessant. Die haben genau so seine Lippen zensiert und haben. Trade Secrets draufgeschrieben. Das mache ich ja bei Fool Me immer genauso. Wenn ich über die Methode spreche mit den Teilnehmern, dann zersiere ich es genauso und schreibe drauf Magierkram. Aber ist ja witzig, ist einfach exakt das. Ich bin technical. Ich bin nervös über das. Wie viele Jahre habt ihr Magic gemacht? Ich bin seit ich 15 war. 15? Ja, 8, 9. Ich meine, wenn ich das Blaine-Special gesehen habe, als ich ein Kind war. Das war das eine für mich auch. David Blaine. Das war das eine. Für ein Jahr, nicht ein Jahr, ein Jahr und ein halb, wahrscheinlich. Ein Jahr und ein halb. Du bist insane für dein and a half number three respect hey ollie hey buddy you remember me okay when you grow okay. older and then if you need someone to work for you you let me know buddy okay <laughs> <laughs> absolutely i know you got an amazing start on my conventions you guys have been to magic magic live not yet i have not no. first time last year it was amazing here from europe is blackpool Yes, Blackpool Magic Convention. Yeah, yeah. It's expensive to go all the way to Magic Life. I want to go to Blackpool. Yeah, I want to go to Blackpool as well. That's one That's one on my list. I've been to Magic Fest. Number one, who's your favorite magician or what's your favorite magic book? Uh, my favorite magician is, I got to give it to David Blaine. I know it's kind of like, like everybody's, a lot of people's favorite magician. But yeah, David Blaine's my favorite magician. Favorite magic book would be probably 13, 13, I'm, I'm forgetting the name, 13, 
steps. Steps to, yeah, mentalism, it's probably yeah. my favorite. Classic. Why David Blaine? I like David Blaine because I feel like he really, you know, brought it. Fühl ich? Ich kenne den Struggle. Attention to, uh, to, to, to Ehrenhund. To the, to the whole street magic thing. And I, I, he, he was the really one who went out and recorded it and, and had that special, his first special. And I think that was probably what inspired me to, you know, kind of go do something similar. Okay, we have five seconds, which is... Oh, <laughs> thanks, Ollie. Sorry, man. Jeff kind of singled me out and was like, hey, what's your favorite magic book? And I was like... Mm, die Verdächtigen Nico. Aber das klang eigentlich schon sehr überzeugend, ja, dass ihm jetzt das Wort Steps im Titel 13 Steps to Mentalism nicht eingefallen ist. Ah, ist okay. Ich glaube, die haben schon den Imposter rausgekickt tatsächlich. Ich glaube, Joseph war schon die richtige Wahl. Like, duh. I love talking about magic. I love me. I've never met these. Ollie's awesome. I really like Ollie a lot. I think we got rid of them all. <laughs> Do I have to get rid of someone? Yes or yes? I'll say... Number one. Yeah, my vote is gonna be number two. Uh, I'm sorry, number two. I. Uh, no, wait, that's not right. Number one, his favorite magician is David, David Blaine. Blaine. That is a totally legitimate um, choice to have for a favorite magician. It's just rather public. I told you at the beginning, no one's favorite magician is like the magician who just like is the most popular magician. Everyone has their own unique one. I think there's something up with him. I'm gonna do. Mein Lieblingszauberer ist auch David Blaine. Ja, der ist halt der international bekannteste aktuell zusammen mit David Copperfield und mit Penn und Teller. Aber es ist nun mal so, gerade wegen dieser Popularität hat David Blaine bei mir zum Beispiel meine Magie einfach geprägt. Ne? Ich würde schätzen, locker die ersten 30 Zaubertricks, die ich gelernt habe, davon waren locker 20 Stück typische David Blaine Zaubertricks, die ich bei ihm so gesehen habe und einfach auch beherrschen wollte. Genau deswegen, weil ich diese Specials gesehen habe. Und ich glaube, es geht vielen da draußen ähnlich. Das jetzt als Argument zu nehmen, ah, schwierig. Jeff Black just because I have to vote, but I still think he's a magician, but I like his mustache too. But number one, smelling kind of moldy, mold patrol. I definitely feel like I'm about to get voted out for some reason. The person eliminated this round is number one. Aber das ist schade, dass er jetzt auch diesen Cashpreis am Ende nicht gewinnt. Weil eigentlich waren sich ja alle einig gefühlt. Joseph ist rausgeflogen, er war kein Zauberer und jetzt sind nur Zauberer unter sich. Also es ist schade, dass jetzt gesagt wird, okay, wir kicken nochmal einen raus, oder? Was sagt ihr? Ich persönlich finde das ein bisschen unfair gerade. Weil er hat gar nichts gemacht. Gar nichts. What? Guys, that hurt. <lacht> no, it's all good. I should have came in with a more powerful trick to kind of show off, you know, my, my card skills. And number two, saying David Blaine was my favorite magician because even though that is true, David Blaine's the most well-known magician, I could see why they would think that I am not a magician because that's my answer, as weird as that is. Thumbs up if you wish to continue the game or thumbs down if you think you caught them all and you want to end the game. Das hätten die doch vorher schon machen können. Three, two, one, go. Okay, die Mehrheit sagt, der Imposter wurde schon rausgekickt. All right. So majority rules. If the light behind me turns green, you guys have voted the mole out and you have won. If the light behind me turns red, the mole is still in the game and you have lost. Das ist grün, ja? Die, die freuen sich. Okay. Voila! Can I please have my mole, my fake magician, raise his hand? One, two, three. Ja, ja, ja. Ja, ja, ja. That was rough, guys. I was watching, I was watching the performances go and I'm like, oh my god, there's no way. Why did I pick a card trick? Oh, oh man, that is so fun. You did it so well. How long did you work on that for? Well, okay, so I have like some amateur magic background, but I don't, I've never done it professionally. So I grew up super shy and magic was a way of kind of being able to walk up to random groups of strangers and just show them something. Habt ihr den Faker auch richtig erraten? Hattet ihr die gleiche Theorie wie ich? Oder wart ihr irgendwie anderer Meinung? Lasst es mich gerne in den Kommentaren. Wissen. Und wir sehen uns dann im nächsten Video wieder mit richtig nicen Gummiband-Zaubertricks. Ja, das hat den Stift wirklich durchdrungen. Wenn ihr wissen wollt, wie das funktioniert, lasst ein Abo auf meinem Kanal da. Und da geht es zu drei richtig krassen Zaubertricks. Das Thumbnail ist kein Clickbait. Macht wirklich einen Zaubertrick, der genau so aussieht wie auf dem Thumbnail. Wir sehen uns direkt dort.